Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. My name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineers. I am Pawan from mechanical background. I am trying hard to get a job in software field, but I am not getting a job. I feel very depressed and frustrated. I feel like to uh, do suicide. I graduated three months ago. Okay. See, uh, first thing is that where does depression come from? Okay, depression comes because we think this is what should happen. This is what should happen. Okay, there is a theory and there is a practical. Everything we are learning in college is all theory. There is no practical. There is no practical. Okay. As soon as we come out of college, if we remain in the mode of college, okay, if we remain in that mode, see how do we choose our college? We decide after 12th standard, based on your 12th, even for that, we have to struggle and we have to get marks in physics, chemistry, maths, and then we have to give need uh, or some kind of an exam. Okay, whatever, whatever exam will, and then based on that exam and on and our marks, uh, we we are able to select a particular college. Even in selection of the college, there is IITs, there is NITs, there is two tier colleges, three tier colleges, all different kind of colleges. There is engineering in mechanical, computer science, civil, everything. But ultimately, you get to make a choice. And you may you get to make a choice to decide this is the college I'm going to. Maybe because you didn't get into IIT, okay, but this is a college and you accept that. You accept that as the reality at that point of time. But okay, fine. This is a college. I'm going to study for five, four years. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do everything possible. And after I get a degree, I'm going to get a good job. Now there you get to choose your college. There you get to decide to join a particular college and you give money to somebody to give you admission in that college. And that college does not even guarantee you a job. Okay. Now cut to after engineering, cut to after your degree. Now the tables are reversed. Now the company is going to give you money for your skills. It's very simple uh, formula. The more skills you can demonstrate in the interviews, the better the company will give you a job. Okay. And if you're not getting a job in this video, I talked about what a mechanical engineer can do. But these questions have come from electrical engineers. These questions have come from different fields of engineering. And my answers are there throughout all the live videos where I have talked about how to find a particular job. When you want to find a particular job, first you go and study the jobs. Okay. But before you study the jobs, first you decide who you are and what you want and what you got. What are the skills you have? You are a mechanical engineer for whatever reasons you don't want to work in the mechanical field and you want to jump to software. What are the skills that are equivalent to your software industry that you have? If you have done programming from Udemy or if you have done programming from somewhere, you have learned programming and you are good. Then you write down what are the skills you have. You know Java programming, you know web development, you know Android development. Whatever one or two skills really good you have, you write down on the piece of paper, go to the internet and find the jobs with these skills. Okay. And then you figure out what are they asking in the job description. What are the things that they are asking in the job description. And then... For each thing they are asking in the job description, just think about, do you have this particular skill or a quality? 
if there is a gap then you need to fill up the gap and how to fill up the gap simply by studying if they are saying you need to have knowledge of data structures and algorithm and for whatever reasons if you did not pay attention in college or if you never learned data structures and algorithm you can just take a book on data structures and algorithm you can catch some friend who is in computer science and you can understand these things quickly to be at least able to answer in your interviews okay somebody here said that give an exam the aptitude test within various companies which is a very good suggestion so prepare for aptitude have you prepared for aptitude see it's very easy to remain depressed it is very easy to blame the entire world it does not help nobody cares even your parents care to a certain extent okay even your parents will care to a certain extent after that and your parents care because you are a child of your parents because of that they are going to care but the world as a whole is not going to care your college does not care you have a degree in hand the government does not care that you have a degree in hand the companies don't care that where did you do the engineering from what did you do what did you not do nobody is going to care about that what people are going to care is what are the skills you have and whether these skills are useful in my company when i hire you can you do the work that i have in my company so that i can give you money in return if you are not getting a job find an internship do an internship where you just ask people that i i know these programming languages i want to do an internship with you i want to learn and then go and do the internship and then get experience of a full fledged project and then go and find a job okay but by remaining depressed you will remain depressed and all these suicidal thoughts that you have have no meaning in your life whenever you have these thoughts think about what your parents will go through look at the parents who have lost their children and look at them and see what they are going through and what is their emotion at at this moment okay they will be blaming themselves and you will never uh, and do you think that just by doing that you will be free no in our indian philosophy after you die you are born again depending on what happened so if you have some some uh, uh, remaining work on this planet you may come back in some another form and what if you uh, died with struggle you will come back uh, to face the same struggle unless you uh, unless you face that struggle unless you finish your life unless your life becomes something valuable okay the cycle of life does not end okay so remove those thoughts for a bit start thinking and i will say that uh start exercising start walking uh start talking to people uh, i know it's pandemic so you cannot meet friends and all uh, have zoom call meetings with your friends uh, talk to people who already have a job and tell ask them how did they find the job and don't feel that you are not enough okay whatever you have today you are enough and on the basis of that there will be some company which will be okay with your skills and that that will hire you you should be able to adjust to them and you should be able to start somewhere i was not getting a job after my engineering completion of my engineering i was not getting a job i did not get a job for 90 days almost 90 days i finished my engineering in the last a uh, practical or last uh, project assignment delivery was in i remember in july and from july august september september 25th i got my first job in that 90 days okay i went and tried to give interviews at many different places i got rejected for like uh, 30 plus 5 35 places i got rejected kept giving interviews kept giving uh, 
from electronics wanted to come into software industry kept hearing that you don't have software skills and whatever and finally i accepted a job which paid me half of what all my friends were getting at that point of time because i had never in my mind thought about money money is a medium of exchange okay money is just a medium of exchange okay i just wanted a job i got a job within 3 months just because of my work ethics because of the way i worked because of the way i expanded myself in the work uh within 3 months i got a promotion every 3 months i got a promotion that within 18 months my salary was double within the same organization and after that i quit i built my own business for 11 years after that i quit i joined another company again they gave me promotion and even while i switch from my company to another company even during that period there was a period when i was getting rejected so many times but you need only one job you have to keep trying till you get the job it's as simple as that but first change your mindset okay just start feeling just start thinking that you have a job in hand just start having that feeling that and when you start working when you start doing your own analysis of your skills and finding out what skills are required in the industry and trying to fill up the gap when you start working on that you will be surprised that job will start appearing automatically you may not even have to work for it and you will be surprised by that you will come here and come here and tell me that uh, this happened or not but i would suggest don't waste your time in all these foolish things okay uh, foolish i say because uh nowadays we are we are uh, giving too much of importance to uh, all the stories which are played out in the media in in various mediums just to make you feel that it's okay to be uh, a certain way no it's not okay to be unsuccessful believe me it's not okay to be failure yes you can fail but if you fail even without trying then that is real failure if you fail if you are trying something and you fail if you go for all interviews and you are getting rejected that is fine but if you are not even trying you are just sitting at home and oh nobody is giving me a job and you are failing then that's a real failure that has nobody is going to come and help you with that okay nobody no company is going to come to your home and say look just because you are thinking like this just because of your this condition believe me no company will give you a job because uh, if you say that uh, you know i have depression i am handling depression nobody will give you a job why if it is so good we are celebrating depression we are celebrating failure we are celebrating unsuccessful people okay we are talking about our uh, stories of failure correct when we are talking about all these things if you are not learning for your failure then it is not going to work out okay uh, watch some motivative movies like ms dhoni watch some movies where they go through so much struggle before they really make a mark okay everybody has to go through that struggle everybody okay so i hope this helps you uh 3 months is nothing Three months is nothing, and we are still in pandemic. So you get that benefit of a pandemic. You can always say, "Oh, because of pandemic, I was not getting a job." But you don't need to explain why you are not getting a job. Don't need to explain anything. Don't need to explain anything to anybody. Okay. So I hope that helps you, Pawan. I really uh, want you to come out of this. I really want you to start uh, start going for walks. Start. uh changing your life start listening to good music uh stop watching news stop watching all neg- negative news uh stop being with people who are negative influence in your life stop doing all these things uh get in front of more and more positive people talk to people you know your friends who are very positive who are very supporting with you uh try to speak with your parents uh if your parents don't understand your point of view then 
don't talk too much with them trying to explain whatever okay uh, but try to find a job you will get it there are too many jobs too many jobs few people to do it i'm going to link all the videos that i have talked about in this video uh, the program that i have talked about a players is also in the description of this video at the end screen you will see some video you can go and watch that video so you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates